Hello everyone and welcome back to Drama O Rama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. Now remember to have your journals ready and let's get started. For today's warm up, we are going to focus our minds and our bodies playing the mirror game. I'm going to be the leader and I want you to be my mirror. I'm going to move my upper body slowly and carefully, my torso, arms, hands and fingers, shoulders, neck, head, and I may even change my facial expressions. So I want you to make eye contact with me and move as I am moving. Now, if you want to take this a little further, you could play this with a family member and change roles. One could be the leader and then switch and the other could be the leader. So are you ready? Find a safe space to move around and be my mirror and then stand in neutral. Today, we are going to explore gravity. Did you know that without gravity, we would just fall off the Earth's surface and float away? Hmm. Gravity is the force of attraction that pulls together all matter. And matter is anything that you can physically touch. The more matter something has, the greater the force of gravity. So that means a really big object like a planet or a star have stronger gravitational pulls. This pull also depends on how close it is to other objects. And that's why even though the sun is more massive and has a stronger gravitational pull than Earth, we are pulled towards Earth because we're closer to it. And gravity is also the force that, that keeps Earth and all the other planets orbiting around the sun. Hmm. And did you know that weight is based on gravity? Weight is actually the measurement of the force of gravity pulling on an object. So, if we were on Jupiter, we would be heavier because Jupiter is more massive than Earth. But if we were on Mars, we would be a lot lighter because Mars is smaller than Earth. On Earth, we could probably jump about half a meter, which is about one and a half feet on average. But, if we tried that same jump on Jupiter, we'd only be able to jump 0 0.005 meters, which is like, you know, not even a quarter of an inch. That's not very high at all. But if we were on Mars, 
we would be able to jump 1.75 meters, which is almost six feet. That's pretty high. And if we were out in outer space, which has zero gravity, we would be completely weightless. <laughs> gravity is pretty awesome. So today we are going to explore all that gravity has to offer using our minds, our bodies, and our faces. Are you ready? Find a safe space to move around, then stand in neutral. So in front of me, there are three gravity buttons. This first button sounds like this. When you hear that sound, we are, the gravity is off. We are in zero gravity, just like in outer space. When you hear this sound, that means that gravity is on, but it is super strength gravity, just like on the planet Jupiter. So we can barely move. And then when you hear this sound, <laughs> that means we're back to Earth's gravitational pull. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, this feels like zero gravity to me. Ooh, this is nice. I feel so light. Okay, first try to move one arm. Look how it just floats so evenly up. Now try to move the other arm. It moves the same way. Now move your body, your legs, Wow, we're moving very slowly about the space. And these movements are so relaxed. You can move up and down. A gentle breeze blows. Oh, oh, when we move from one side, to the other side because we're weightless. Even a breeze can blow us around. We're moving slowly and evenly, all at the same speed. Let's try to play basketball. Here comes a basketball. Okay, we got the basketball. I'm kind of afraid to dribble it, so I'm just gonna try to make a basket and, oh, well, it just floated away. There goes the basketball. I know, let's try to get a piece of candy out of our pocket. Ooh. Unwrap it and eat it. Uh oh, oh, there goes the candy. Oh no, there goes the wrapper. Oh, I really wanted that candy. Ah, <sighs> freeze. All right, I am going to press a different button. Oh, oh no. It's the super strength gravity. Oh, it's, it's pulling. I feel it pulling me to the surface. Oh, this is very hard. Try, try moving one arm. Oh, too difficult. Okay. Other arm. I, no, no, can't do it. How about? Oh, body? Nope. Legs? Oh, hardly can do it. 
too hard. Oh, I could barely move. Let's see, there's that gentle breeze. Yeah, well, can't, it's not doing anything. I can feel it, but it's not doing anything to me. Okay, now I'm gonna try to play basketball. Ugh. I can't get the ball. It's just on the ground. I can't get it. Okay, okay, we, oh, uh-oh, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna try to get the candy out of my pocket. Oh, oh this is so hard. Oh, oh. okay, oh. Okay, I got it. I got it, I'm gonna try to unwrap it. Oh, it fell out of my hands. It's on the ground and I'm gonna try to get it. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I can't move. I'm stuck. Freeze. Now, I'm going to push the last button. <sighs> Woo! That's much better. This is on Earth's gravitational pull. This feels more like it. I like this. Okay. So, if we feel that gentle breeze blowing, maybe our hair moves, but it doesn't blow us around, and it, it, but it still affects us. When we move our arms, we can move them however fast or slow we want. It's awesome. And if we wanted to play basketball, no problem. Could grab a basketball off the ground, dribble it, catch it, and make a shot. Perfect, can do anything I want. And I can have that piece of candy, no problem. <laughs> This is my kind of gravitational pull. Today, we were able to explore gravity using our minds, our bodies, and our faces. We explored how it feels to be weightless in outer space with zero gravity. We explored how it feels to have that strong gravitational pull as if we were on the planet Jupiter. And we explored how it feels to be us on planet Earth. So experiencing the differences between weightlessness and strong gravitational pulls gives us a deeper understanding of how gravity works. And it's just plain fun. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to fold a piece of paper into thirds and in one panel, draw a picture of yourself in zero gravity. In the center panel, draw a picture of yourself in Earth's gravity. And in the last panel, draw a picture of yourself in super strength gravity. Write one or two words in each panel describing how it felt to be in zero gravity, super strength gravity, and Earth's gravity. And remember, use details. Thank you so much for exploring gravity with me today and all it has to offer. Until next time, we'll sing goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.